Considered Belgian football royalty, Anderlecht has not been immune from scandal and downtimes. The most infamous scandal was Anderlecht's 1984 Europa League semi-final second leg against Nottingham Forest, winning 3-0 to win 3-2 on aggregate. The result smelled rotten at the time, and it was later admitted and proven Anderlecht's then president had bribed the referee, disgracing the club. Embarrassed, Anderlecht regrouped and returned to European competition and the peak of Belgian football, showing its strength, if not arrogance. So a poor season under first-time manager Vincent Kompany is unlikely to keep Anderlecht glum and down the table for too long. Indeed, many have been quick to point the finger at player-manager Kompany, who inherited something of a transitional situation at Anderlecht. I think it's just a big change uh, uh, in all aspects. Uh, the way of playing, the players, uh, so there's a lot of change to take uh, account. The, the structure of the club changed also a lot uh, uh, from up, to, uh, up top. So, yeah, it takes time, but uh, I'm sure we'll get there. After winning just one of the first eight games, the signs of improvement have been obvious for Anderlecht, losing just three of 18 to move up the table. From a relegation battle, Anderlecht is now just four points away from a place in the championship playoffs. And getting there could be a victory in itself. Indeed, it is only three years since Anderlecht won the most recent of its 34 league titles a reason it is considered Belgian football royalty. But those 34 titles are also testament to a club that can withstand and come back from scandals and poor performances. Thanks for watching. For all your major news, latest results and in-depth analysis from across the football world, make sure you hit the subscribe button.